This Kickstarter trend is bound to one of the most interesting concepts for young and starving developers, an entirely optional source to give funding to those said projects such as games as well as music. Now of course it has become a bandwagon for most since the pretty darn startled success of donations when the Unia became a realization. Stardom is the concept through many of the minds thus far as I noticed. Is this website a bad thing? Absolutely not. To me it's a nice way to help a legit company grow early and get out there, which many people do need in this time of di day and age in expanding enterprises. Can the website can be abused? I'm not going to say it's not, it won't be, it can be. Due to the crowd gathering to this website, it could ruin it for all, making it something people will interestingly witch hunt over a f in a flash due to the jealous motive or of confused thought patterns. Could I ever use this website for something? Absolutely not. What the hell am I going to use it for, honestly? I mean, it's, I don't, I don't think anything I would do on the internet would benefit a soul, so personally, I would never use this website if I found a project, however, that I thought was really interesting and intriguing and I actually want to contribute towards it, I would donate towards it otherwise. But past that, I don't really see this as being a bad website as many people have been alienating at least recently due to the fact that the recent a AGVN as well as other projects out there are coming out of the woodwork. As a sole scale, I say it's a good website. As a long run, I say it's going to have its bumps and its bruises, but it's, I think it's going to be quite fine. As long as many, many, many people use it the right way. Now, of course, my suggestions for the website would be to obviously monitor who's a legit company and as well as show some sort of credentials, sort of like how the Shark Show does it. I uh, was it the Shark Tank or something like that? But the Shark Tank, what they do is they want to look at the credentials, see what make it interesting, and if it's interesting, they actually allow you to publish it. Now, of course, if this website does this already, ignore what I just said. But personally, from a standpoint, looking at it from my perspective, I don't say it as a bad website. I say it as long as you can prove that you are going to deliver the goods with the project you're going to put on this website, it could be a bad thing for other people. It's catastrophic if they're going to be trying to emulate the same premise of a project. Now, again, as long as people do not abuse this, I say it's going to be a successful and interesting as well as a quite nice way for people to be able to uh, fund their projects and be able to do something with their lives as well as give people the things they would want out of these small investments. Now, of course, when it comes to these little projects or these little uh, little swag items you get with the project, it's giving you something back. Now, so far, I've watched a few videos of people just bitching about the website. Now, again, I'm not here to whitehorse the website. I'm here to tell it how it is and how I see the generalization of the website. Yes, it could be abused. At the same time, no, it cannot really be abused as long as the right people are, of course, building projects projects on this website. And that's the most important thing. Wouldn't you want something you are passionate about to be put out there and be able to be successful? Absolutely. Anyone could open up a small business online. It takes a little bit of a loan from a bank, or you could have investors in your company, which are people around you that you might know, be able to invest towards your Kickstarter account or to you personally and being able to help you. It opens up a broad idea for those who want to do this type of Now, scaring people out of submission because, quite frankly, you couldn't think of the idea or, of course, the concept that, well, oh, well, you're not going to deliver the goods is pretty much, I consider, a slight bullying aspect. While I can see the people's point of being suspicious, I don't say it as everything being suspicious as it be. Now, while some people might con you, I don't see most of the projects so far I've seen on this website as a con. I see it as a legitimate way to, of course, endeavor their projects. But, again, I do digress. I say this website is healthy as long as it gets monitored well. And that's pretty much my two cents. I mean, I don't got any gripes against Kickstarter. Yes, I can absolutely see that it can be abused. But again, so far I've seen a lot of positive projects such as Shadowrun, the Unya, and others become a realization and become quite successful. So I will say that it is a pretty cool website and I do hope it does get used properly. So again, I'm repeating myself, but I'm pretty much closing out what I think. So what do you guys think of the Kickstarter? Uh, as of recent, do you think it's a good way to be able to push your projects if used properly? Or you just think it's an entire cash cow for those people who are just quite frankly wanting free money? Post your comments down below and take it easy, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching.